Hey, what's up? Jason here from Community3D.College. A couple days ago, I learned about a great resource for getting really cool free PBR materials that you can just drop right into your game. And that site is at share.algorithmic.com. So I wanted to share this with you so that if you haven't seen this before, you can grab them and start using these things in your games. And if you look here, there are about 800 free materials that you can download. These are created by the community and a couple by Algorithmic. They also make some really cool art tools like Substance Painter and Substance Designer. Definitely worth checking out if you're into creating your own art. So all you have to do is download these and drop them into your project. And if you do that, you'll see that first off, they look pretty damn cool. But second, a lot of them have a lot of options on there so you can customize them. So I have the brick one selected right now. I can hit randomize and just get some different variation. I can also adjust things like the um, damage amount to them. So break part amount is damage for this one. So you can just adjust it and you can see the bricks are kind of beaten up. We can change things like the number of bricks, um, the slope of them, the bevel, a lot of options. I don't want to go over all these because they vary per material. Some have you know a ton of them that make sense for that material. Some don't have any at all and you can just hit randomize and kind of get a little bit of variation. So let me show you just real quickly the process of grabbing these and dropping them into your project. All you have to do is select the one that you want, hit download, and you'll get a zip file. Inside that zip file, there's usually an sbar file. Sometimes there are some other source files, so you can go in and modify these in a tool like Substance Designer. This one doesn't come with that, though. It just comes with this file. And I just take it and put it into my materials folder. So this is just mapped to my Unity folder. Now, if I jump back over to Unity, get all these minimized and out of the way, we should have my new spaceship metal colony. And there it is. And you can see this one, again, has a lot of options. I can hit... oh wrong one selected let's select that one I can hit randomize and get some different variation I can play with the color maybe I want to have some red plates oh, like I said I think this is pretty damn amazing especially for the price so I definitely recommend you check it out um, if you're looking for other types of free art I also recently posted a blog post where you can get some uh, materials like this models animations sound effects and everything else just some links to my favorite sites that have these types of things. And if you like the video, of course, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and share it with your friends. And thanks for watching.